In 2020, Mongolia ranked lower than various non-democratic countries, including North Korea, Tajikistan, and the United Arab Emirates. In terms of women's participation in politics, increased women's representation in Mongolian politics is crucial to addressing basic social issues such as illegal activities, corruption, bribery, and creating a child-friendly environment. According to the World Bank's international competitive study, there is a general trend of decreased corruption as the number of women members of parliament increases. In Mongolia, the 30% quota for women's representation in politics was initially approved in 2005. However, it was cancelled again in the 12 months preceding the 2007 elections. During that time, political parties nominated the bare minimal number of women as candidates, resulting in only three women serving in parliament for the following four years. This highlights the significance of quotas in promoting women's participation in politics. Over the last three elections, the quota for women was set 20% and currently, the participation of women has finally reached 17%. Since 2009, the participation rate of women in the labor force has been declining year by year. This indicates a decrease in women's involvement in the formal workforce with a gradual shift towards the informal sector. Despite having higher education, women are unable to fully benefit from their investment in the higher education. Increasing the current quota of 20% to 40% would create greater opportunities for women's participation in politics. The experiences of countries that have successfully enhanced women's involvement in politics demonstrate the effectiveness of increasing the representation of women in parliament. In Korea, starting from 2004, there has been a push to achieve a 50% representation of women through the proportional system. As a result, progress has been made in the adoption of women's quotas. Additionally, men have been encouraged to prioritize women by placing their names at the top of the candidate list. This practice has been made mandatory in the election law. First and foremost uh, important is to increase the quota for uh, gender equality in the electoral legislation. By increasing the quota, this will increase the number of candidates that are on the lists and are running for elections in Mongolia. So right now, the uh, state grade Khural is discussing these changes to the legislation, and it's quite important to make this increase in the quota uh, so that there will be additional candidates, female candidates, that will be running in the election and thus elected. However, an increase in the quota by 30 or even 40 percent does not equate to that number of uh, female MPs that will actually be elected. So ideally, it would be better to have the higher quota, at least 40 percent, with that, uh, potentially Mongolia has the opportunity to reach uh, the global level of participation of women in decision making. In this context, it's quite important to have an equal playing field. Uh, women are facing uh, double standards, are facing discriminatory uh, uh, standards in their public life and in their private life. They also face harassment. Uh, and challenges, uh, lack of resources, in particular financial resources, to become candidates. Korea's experience demonstrates that in addition to implementing higher quotas, women's participation in politics has increased through improved access to childcare services and kindergartens.